So we're talking about dubs versus subs again, and, you know, like, a lot of people have said really great things on the subject. Cookie did a whole video about how dubs force voice actors to constrain into lip flaps that aren't natural. Saiga did an incredible video about how you don't know what it sounds like in Japan, and, like, the original Japanese sounds about as hokey as our dubs do. My take is that whatever you like, you know, watch it. Just, it doesn't matter. There is no one that's better than the other. Watch it in whatever way you most enjoy. But I am here to tell you a very interesting thing, and that is we are not the only culture who has this debate. In fact, if you go to Japan, they're having the same debate about American media coming over to Japan. There are two pretty hard factions of sub versus dub. Should you watch things in the original English, or should you watch things dubbed into Japanese? I have a couple online friends who live in Japan, and they tell me about this all the time. They tell me how, like, people argue that you get more out of, like, the original English as opposed to a Japanese dub. And it's for the same reasons that we say it here. Partially because they can't always understand what's being said. Partially because the lip flaps don't match. This isn't something strictly for anime in, you know, America. This is something that happens worldwide for all sorts of international media. You could see the same thing in, like, Bollywood media. The sub versus dub war is truly universal. And that's something really interesting to think about, that this is a debate that has been going on well before the anime fandom existed. 